Hey everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to the new M4J network here on OpenTTD. Let me just move my microphone into position. I always do that, start every episode with doing the thing that I should have done before I started recording, but there we go. Welcome back again to Sanley. We're going to be doing some things here uh, once again, this time with the railway. I mentioned it last time out. We're going to rebuild these sidings here. Now, myself and Master Trams have been chatting um, about possible ways of doing this because basically... I don't want a 100 track siding um, because of the way that uh, signaling works in the game here. Trains can't stack up in siding, so you have to have one siding per train. And there's going to be multiple trains stabled in these sidings um, at various points during the day. Another issue, which is one that kind of bugs me more than it should. But you can see, so we got all these tram vehicles here, which is fine. That's exactly what they're supposed to do. Uh, I don't know if I can see departures from here. I cannot. But if I come back down to Sanley itself, um, I can show you this is what the, the schedule looks like. So you can see there's what, 5, 3, 4, 2, 1. Then for some reason it goes 3, 5, 2, 1, 4. Uh, and then 3, 5 again. So I don't quite know what's happened there. But you can see it's 701 SMO3 leaves and then at 711 SMO3 leaves so it falls into a pattern at that point and you can see there's 725 715 for SMO5 so I don't know what's happened at the start here uh, something's not quite gone to plan that could well be me doing dumb things uh, so where are we at uh, right now it is 646 so you probably would have left, so yeah, 6.14, 6.44, 7.14, and then it goes up in 10. So I actually don't know what's happened there. You arrived at 6.45, so you must have been the 6.44 departure. You seem to have arrived at the right time. I don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. That's not even the thing that's bugging me. The thing that's bugging me is... I tried to set it up, and I might have done this at the end of last episode, actually, so you may have already seen me explain this, but I'll explain it again, and then I'll tell you why it's bugging me. I tried to set it up so that these vehicles will run their schedule, and then at the end, there'll be a conditional order. And originally, I set it to, if uh, vehicle requires service equals false, skip to order two, which in this case is heading back to these um, storage berths. I thought that worked. Uh, I thought that worked quite well until I realized one of the vehicles had 0% reliability. And I thought, okay, maybe it's because I've got breakdowns turned off, services does, don't quite work the same way. I also, uh, up here, changed some settings so that a vehicle will only need to be serviced once uh, every 365 days, so once a year, uh, apart from ships, which is once every 730 days. Now, this I changed because you saw last episode, trams were coming straight through and heading into the depot. So I thought, oh, maybe it's because they need a service uh, and there wasn't a depot attached to the um, the orders. So maybe they just went into the depot, came out again because they needed a service. So I added that if vehicle requires service equals false, skip, otherwise go back to the start and go to the depot. Uh, and I had a depot order at the top. It didn't work. I don't know what happened there. It didn't work. It kept skipping the depot no matter what. So then I thought, okay, maybe if I change if reliability is more than, say, 5%, skip to next order. That also didn't work. Uh, the reliability dropped to 0%, and for some reason it kept skipping the depot order. And, you know, it was an, it was an if command. It should have worked, but it didn't. I haven't tried doing the opposite and seeing if it's just a bug where you know one equals zero and zero equals one or anything like that but for the most part um it's a bit of a problem that something like that doesn't actually work i haven't reported it as a bug yet i wanted to get some feedback from uh other people you guys people watching this is it something that's expected to happen the way it's happening or is it actually something that's broken and possibly should be reported and maybe fixed i don't know let me know in the comments down below, though. It'd be really, really helpful. Um, but it has kind of thrown a spanner into the works because I'm going to do what I was going to do today anyway, which is rebuild the um, storage tracks here at Sanley. Uh, and we're going to have a new set of storage tracks. This was awful. I don't know what I was thinking when I built this. Um, 
But I'm gonna do what I said last time out, which was all this area here, we're gonna turn it into storage tracks. Now, as Master Trams pointed out to me, um, you will need a lot of storage tracks because there'll be a lot of trains. Say we have seven vehicles operating, seven trains uh, operating, seven units operating on one service. And it was an ambitious number, but 20 was the number thrown around. Say we had 20 services operating out of Stanley um, and there were seven units per service. That's 140 units that you need to find storage for. Now, my plan is to constantly have trains cycling in and out of the storage tracks. So we will have overnight services. It will be pretty sporadic once an hour, once every two hours, depending on the type of um, service that it is. But I do want to have trains running through the night if possible. But even then, you've still got to find storage for a hundred odd trains. Um, and that could be a problem. So I'm going to use this the method that I use with some of my stations, which is double stacking. So I'm going to have scissor crossovers and things like that. But that is going to impact on the design of all this. Because ultimately, if we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tracks here, it comes across. And I am going to have storage tracks here, six tiles long, whatever it might be. Then you've got to go right the way across again to a central track. And then on the other side, you've got to have another one that comes out like this. Now, the way around that is to have, you know, three on one side, four on the other, say, in a central track through the middle. Uh, or it'd be three and three in a central track through the middle. That could work. Um, I will try that method first and see if it does work. But even then, it's not going to be the prettiest looking thing. Um, we do have fairly big storage sidings here in the UK, um, but they tend to be, you know, three or four trains can fit in a siding and therefore you don't need as many sidings as you otherwise would uh, if it was one train per siding. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not de demotivated by it all. I'm, you know, I've still got plenty of motivation to go on and, and make this work and, you know, <laughs> build it the way I want to build it. It's not like I'm giving up or anything like that. But at the same time, it is also incredibly annoying um, that I couldn't do this the way I wanted to do it because I had some very ambitious plans for, for this. Um, the way the network was going to operate with the new train storage, new timetabling and everything. And it's a little annoying that I couldn't do it the way that I wanted to. But I digress. I'm going to start building these storage tracks. I may come back in the middle and just explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But ultimately, this is either going to be one depot or two. Uh, one of which would serve, the western side would serve the western reaches south here, the commuter trains. And the eastern side will serve these two lines here, which will end up being separate. Um, as well as the Sandley Bay lines as well. And they will be third rail and the western side will be overhead line electrification only. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to say for the intro here. Uh, like I said, I might come back interject at various points and explain what's going on, but for the most part, let's get on with it, shall we?
Okay, slight tangent took there. Uh, basically, I decided that I needed more space to build some sidings here, and I thought, what better way to do that than to uh, actually re-divert these routes. So you'll see now that we've got the express tracks here that diverge to the northernmost side. This will probably get changed, and they may even go on a, on a bridge. In fact, I might even do that now uh, so that I don't forget. But basically what I want to do, and I'm going to keep saying the word basically as well for some reason, um, but what I want to do is have these lines come over the top like this because the express tracks are technically uh, closer to the western reaches platforms. So this here makes more sense. Just going to check that the signaling is correct. Yep, it is. Good stuff. Um, and then on this side, we'll build a couple of tunnels for the, uh, the tracks here, which I think are going to look like that. Shouldn't affect anything regarding um, the sidings that I'm about to build, but I think this will work better, like so. And then you can see that they come in like this. Uh, there will actually be another set of crossovers I think like that just to open up some options here a little bit more maybe even one there too and then yeah trains will be able to cross over and enter these platforms here which are mainly the um, the express platforms um, and then for the local lines they come out this way and stay basically doing what they were doing before through Limfingburg through Cutford a station at Slewood and then at Hadwood um, they actually diverge so half go this way I say half, to go this way uh, and head up towards Charwood and places like that. Now originally they were going to be the only pair of lines but I thought actually wouldn't it make more sense if um, if they did actually diverge still so that trains that wanted to travel along the coast could still do so having stopped at these extra stations and so we have this crossover here uh, the junction has been rebuilt, extended, expanded, whatever you want to call it. And I'm happier with this. The station here, I need to bribe the local authority to let me actually finish it. So the platforms on this side probably won't get used to begin with. And then we got the crossover here between the fast line and the slow line. And then the trains continue onwards. This I am still tempted to reduce down to two track. Uh, not every main line on the network has to be four track. Sometimes two would be better. But I think for now it's fine. It's it's harmless. It's not doing any any damage or anything like that. Right. So now that's done, let's get back on with the uh, the sliding, shall we? Okay, so here's where we're at. Um, I 
think I'm happy with how this is looking. There are bits that I wish were slightly different, though. I think for the most part, um, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I sound really uncertain, I know. Uh, there's, there's elements where I'm kind of just looking at it thinking, is this what I want to do? But I think... I think it's what... <laughs> I had, a, I had an idea in my head, and I think this is along the lines of the best I can do to match what I had in my head, which sounds... I sound really defeatist right now, I know, but um, yeah, it is what it is. I'm just adding some exit tracks here to make sure that uh, my trains can definitely get in and out of the depot, because I don't want to fill the depot up and then um, trains can't actually get in here. There's one other thing you may have noticed I've missed so far which is uh, an actual depot um, that trains can can get into um, for servicing now I think were I to do that it would use this center track here that then slaloms over maybe this one as well and there'll be extra crossovers here and then there'll be maybe one or two lines that go through the middle and then this masonry shed will actually shift over slightly as well I've tried to do this in a way where you could kind of see the natural evolution of the depot. Um, I do want to change, what do I want to change? I want to change the um, the sidings here so they look a bit more sort of overgrown. I think it's the Australian ones that have it. Uh, is there anything that has like in its name even there might be there's wooden platforms which isn't what I'm looking for there's train depot extensions which actually does look quite good maybe I'll do this instead so let's have like seven length six um, I might have to experiment with this actually because this looks really good. But yeah, I'm sure there was a sidings. No? Single sided, single sided, single sided, single sided, automatic single sided, blah, 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 blah. Uh, storage. Or if I just type in depot. Oops. <laughs> Derp. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. It says, ah, there you go. Oz train depot. Yeah, it says point bars signaling, signaling wires. Then there's coal storage, yard extension. And then like storage tracks and things like that. Water columns. We're not running steam though, so I don't want anything with steam. Again, water columns. Driving, uh, driver's stopping location. That's kind of useful. Shunt limit signs. Yeah. Some of this is, is somewhat useful. Um, not all of it though but I think for the sake of actually making this look a little nicer I might in fact use these just for now uh, and then we can always you know change it in the future so let's do something like that there what's that one point bars and signaling wires back yeah that looks ugly I don't like that do I want a signal box on one of these I think I do but again, placing it, finding the right location for it, not as easy as it sounds. And yeah, it's it's one of those things. I know I sound very defeatist and not very happy with this right now. I think part of the problem is I don't have the assets that I need. Part of the problem is I'm trying to do something that the game's just not designed to do. Um, and that does have an effect. I really do like the idea of using these. Uh, so let's, let's do something like this. Is there a buffer stop for these though? I don't believe there is, but there might be here, no? Buffer, it says Oz Freight buffer stops, which is somewhat useful. And then there's the Dutch ones which I mean that would be good actually DWE um, does 
it come under industrial? Train tile platforms. Ah, it's these. That's what I was looking for. I had a feeling I had them, but I couldn't remember where. Where it just looks a little bit more overgrown, you know? And then you add the uh, the end pieces on and it just really sells the illusion. Um, that these are sort of overgrown sidings rather than, you know, part of the main running line. Now, obviously, I don't want it to be too overgrown because these are fairly regularly used. But I still think they look cool. So these now along there. Can I turn off the catchment area? Because that's really distracting. You can see I've already missed out some bits because of that. Which is... It's not the end of the world. It's just a little irritating. Uh, what was it? It was that, wasn't it? And then it was that one. And then, yeah, at various points along the way, we can also add in the, um, the maintenance platforms as well. So, for example, those. Or side on ones that's cool I like that so let's uh, let's just finish these off and then we can get to electrifying these rails as well I wanted to do the electrification on screen um, talking to you guys as I was doing it I don't know if anyone here is familiar with the rubber duck principle um, I'm not calling you all ducks don't worry but basically there's a I think it's a sci-fi book where there's a uh, character who's a computer programmer and the way that he debugs his software is um, he explains it to a rubber duck sat on the desk with him and by explaining things to the duck if there's a issue in the code he finds it a lot quicker because you know he's talking to a duck um, it sounds really stupid when you say it like that it, it sounds really stupid, but I, I, it's, it's helped me, so I assume it would help others too. Should I do something like this, and then we could do something like that? Um, I'm actually wondering. I've had a bit of a, another thought uh, about this, and I think I could remove some of these back crossovers. So where these signals are, I could just have these as buffer stops. And then maybe have depots out here. Ooh, how feasible would that be? The answer, I think, is actually very. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to do that. So all of these here, signals here, can be removed. There's probably people like howling at their screens right now, and I apologize. But yeah, I think this would actually work better. So I can now remove that. I can remove that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. These can all now become buffers, and you see it fans out again. Yeah, I, uh, I like this as an idea. I think this will work a lot better. So then we could do the same thing here. Uh, same thing. Yeah, remove all of that. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Remove all of that. Get rid of that one and that one. And then here, get rid of all of that one. That one. Uh, whoop. Come on. There we go. That one. That one. All of this. And that one. Uh, and also this one and this one and this one, which means we don't need that one there either. Now, it kind of messes up some of the signaling here a little bit, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, this is why I wanted to do this on camera as well, because uh, I wanted to make sure that I didn't balls any of this up. And there we go. Okay. So now, if I type in DWE, so we've got these platforms here. Do these have buffer stops? They don't, but these do. And I believe these are, yeah. Like that. And then there will also be one there. Uh, and I've confused it, which is 
fine because I can unconfuse it by doing that. Uh, and I've also confused it here, in fact, which is interesting. So you need to come across like that, which means that one can go away. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, back to this. So I can place all these along the back like this. And then like this. We don't have to have raised platforms on all of these. Some of them I might... Actually, these front ones, I'm not going to put raised platforms because I think that would be unrealistic I suppose I think uh, and then some of these so these back ones here maybe oh man that one no that one and that one but not that one and then over here that one and that one but not that one and then yeah all the rest can just be as they are i suppose although they're, they're all an odd number which makes me wonder one two three four five i'm actually going to put that one there um, but i'm going to have it that way around and i'm going to remove that one and i'm wondering if i can make this more of like an island platform arrangement Kind of like that, yes. Um, and then these ones, yeah. Again, if I have like you just be like this, and then uh, that one and that one like that, that one and that one like that. Let's try this. Platforms. So I need uh, this one like so uh, that one like that that one like that this one like this so far so good um, this one here we'll just have it as this somewhere there it is where it slopes down as for these ones they're there they don't actually all have to slope down to be honest but it's kind of I like it I keep going to say it's kind of cool for literally everything but yeah it is kind of cool let's be honest all right put that there uh, all of these here need replacing as well I'm sure I'm gonna come back and tinker with this loads more times before I'm finally happy with it right now it's not the worst um, I've built way worse than this in the network I'm sure it's just finding that balance it is finding that balance because sometimes you know you build something that you're somewhat happy with and then you think of a better way of doing it like a week later and I'm falling into that trap more and more regularly now not just with this series but loads of series on the channel um, I'm sure you can work them out if you haven't already let's put you there and that one there I'm also talking gibberish because I'm kind of filling the time just while I'm building these. Again, I could have done this as a time lapse of this bit, but I just wanted to do it on camera to make sure. And by on camera, I mean whilst talking to you guys out loud like this. Um, and it's mainly just to make sure I actually get it right. Because believe me, I have messed up way too many times in the past because I'm not really... Sometimes I'm, you know, I'm talking to people out loud whilst, um, whoops, there we go, uh, whilst building and that causes mistakes and yeah, loads of different reasons for why it doesn't always look good. Right. If I go back here now and type in depot, so there's infrastructure, this one, and then there's depot, which is this one. Now, this is the one that I want to try and build now. So if I was to, yeah, drag and drop, let's clear all this out and start again from scratch. And to be honest, I'm gonna clear this one out as well and do the same thing. So starting with, I guess this one. So it says overlap, far end. Okay, let's see how that works. That's whoops. 
damn it. That's I don't want overlap. I just want I guess this type. Or there's this type. But again, that's overlap. I don't want overlap. Can I not have a pitched roof like this but not have it be overlap? Ha. Huh. Yeah, I don't want that. That's not ideal. I guess we're doing it this way then. Like this. Uh, and then we'll have the wallless one all the way along to there, I guess. Uh, except this one is going to have a wall in that direction. Uh, it's kind of made a pitch. Pitched roof. Interesting, actually, that it's done that. Maybe I can split this up a little bit more. Oh, for God's sake, Mark, stop clicking that one. That's annoying. Start again. Right, get rid of everything. Start again properly. So, let's start with this shape here. Then if I have a couple of wallless ones, which are this one. Like that. And then if we have one like this. Yeah, that kind of makes a cool shape. And then if we leave a gap of like two. Got to oh yeah now what I've done here is created a new station as well which was dumb uh, can I just place down a random doesn't look like it let's just place down I don't know this like this from your Ludwigburg South there we are. Right. Start again. So yeah, place one of these here. Then we're going to have a couple with no walls. One, two. Then one with a wall, which is this one. Actually, it's technically this one, I think. Yeah, and it creates that pitched roof effect. Then if we do a gap of two and another one like this. One with no wall. And then... One with a wall there. Then we're going to drop back one. Or are we? No. I don't think we are. These are office buildings, so I can't use those. Now, I could use that, but that looks stupid. So, I could just go with no... I could just do that. And then have another one that starts like this couple of those and then one of those yeah or I could just make this another gap like this and then further back have you and you and then you and you I guess this works so if I was to now commit to this and build you like that, you like that, you like that, you like that, and then this one like this. The only problem with this side here is it's going to have to get cut short there. But I guess that's still fine if we were to put an office at the back there and then a bigger office. That Oh, you're an overlap again. Not annoying at all. Not annoying at all. Um, maybe just one like that. Sure. And then if we were to do this and that, it removes the pitched roof, but it's fine. And then these, like so. Uh, that one like so. That one like so. That one like so. And that one like so. And then these ones here are like so okay now I could do these across the back so this is road and tram depot what would that actually look like if I was to place those 
Ha. Huh. So, okay. That's actually quite interesting how that works. Fair dues. Um, we could just place these across the back. Again, they don't quite match the pitched roof style, but it's something at least. I just feel like these are good sets, but I always feel like there's something missing from them. There's always something missing from them. It's kind of annoying, but what can you do? Okay, so let's just do a couple of those, a couple of those. All those shunt limit. That's a shunt limit sign. That's a shunt limit sign. That's a driver's stopping location, which might actually be slightly more realistic for this. Possibly like that. And then that could just be that. Maybe that one is as well. I'm going to commit to that for now, for this bit. Um, for the other bit, I'm really tempted to use these. How would this look? Electric train depot, normal platform section. So if I was just to build that, and then what are you? Path aware, doors swing outwards. Why does that not line up? That's an overlap, that's an overlap. So these these aren't path aware doors, those are path aware doors and they roll open. So we could do that or we just do this. Or, so again that's an overlap. That's an overlap. That's an extension, something about Enfield. Um, yeah, interesting. That works. We could just go with that. I'm tempted to just go with that. Let's do it. Right, so now for electrification. It should be a simple case of all of these here be third rail only, like so. And then down here, uh, third rail only, and then along here. Yeah, now this is where it will start to change slightly because I think actually um, it would make more sense at this point to have a couple of these tracks be dual voltage because these tracks here I'm planning on having actually these ones in the middle I think at least these ones here could be dual voltage um, and then these ones here all be overhead it's actually really difficult to decide I know for a fact that all of this is going to be overhead like so and again we'll do it up to here for now because some of this might end up being dual voltage actually this side here is going to be entirely overhead electrification um, up to here which means that these tracks actually uh, sorry I'm dithering now as well this 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 they're dual voltage that's all dual voltage this is all dual voltage and then these two lines here are also going to be dual voltage because this is going to be dual voltage that makes sense and then yeah you 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 all of that and that and that are going to be dual voltage. Now, I guess I could do this one as well up to there just to create the three tracks. It's a little messy. It's not quite what I had in mind, but you know, it's fine. 
it's fine. And then all of this here can be dual voltage. And it just provides a little extra overflow for um, for some of the, the third rail EMUs here. They can use these sidings. In fact, there's a thought. They can use all the sidings up to here. And then these shed tracks here are for overhead electrification only. So this is Western Reaches South. Um, on that note then, maybe some of these other sidings down here could be dual voltage as well. But I don't know. That might be a bit overkill. I'm just trying to count up the number of tracks that we've got here now that are accessible for each train. So in terms of third rail only, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then another six. So that's nineteen, which is low. That's actually incredibly low. This this depot might even end up extending further back. Um, so that's nineteen there, but then dual voltage. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So you can have up to 25 third rail um, units stored here. In terms of uh, overhead then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 just in here. And then uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, plus another 6 here, which is 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So that's actually loads. So was it 27 and 33? So I think what I could do is... Um, Here especially if I did something like this and then also like this uh, turn that turn that convert those also convert these and again just do something similar so like up to there and then also this siding here that opens up the path a little bit more for third rail. Um, and I guess if I was to dual voltage these tracks here as well, then that also opens up that one. I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. I think at that point then you've got two here that are exclusively third rail, two sets, two sets here that are exclusively overhead, um, plus all of this shed here and then everything else is dual voltage. And I think that will work well. Worst case scenario, I can take this shed here, create another through track, which will probably be one of the outer ones, it might even be this one over here to be honest, um, and then have another shed built behind it. That's probably what I'm going to do, I think. But for now, I am going to wrap up this episode. It's Once it's functional, this will probably be a lot better. As for where the depot is going to go for all of this, um, I'm tempted to put a couple in these gaps here. So it'll be what? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, yeah, you can cross over to there. How these tracks here on the outside are going to work, I don't know. I've not really given that much thought, to be honest. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, yeah, same thing. You would just slot in over there. Uh, and again, we can have another set of crossovers in the middle so that trains can access uh, all areas. I think that's fine. If I can, again, like I said before, work out a way where um, trains can go into the storage tracks and then come back out without having to go to the depot, that would be great. Or if I could use conditional orders to send trains to the depot only when they need to go and not the other times, that will also be great. But otherwise, yeah, there's not really much else I can uh, I can do here for now. So I think we're done with Sanley for now. There's a couple of other things I want to do in the Sanley area. 
Um, I want to build that freight terminal that I may have spoken about before. If I haven't, then I'd like to build a freight terminal. Um, these passenger lines here, I kind of want some freight movement on them too. Uh, the plan is, so down here, this is an old harbour, and I kind of wanted to have like a divergence here and then have a little peninsula that's a freight harbour. And you kind of see where the, the land is set up here for that. That would be cool. And I definitely want uh, a freight terminal around here. And I, I do remember mentioning that before. So you can have a freight terminal here where you can access it from this direction and access it from this direction. But also have a pair of tracks out the back that then come this way. Join up with this line here and then diverge again to go to this harbour. And that will be how... Um, things get loaded onto ships there was also if you remember from the overview series there was a station somewhere along this line i can't remember exactly where so there's plenborough so i think it's back this way it might even be here there's one where i talked about building a cruise terminal and i think that still will be the case um and then there's loads like this station here needs to get rebuilt because that's ugly as hell and yeah you get the idea there's a lot to be done still, um, and hopefully the timetables will be up and running in the not too distant future. Like I said last time out, high speed is the priority. If we can get high speed operational, then that'll be awesome, because then we can start working um, on actually uh, getting some trains running. And high speed is a good one to start with. I think Trans Rapid may be next. I could be wrong. Uh, Master Trans will uh, will know that better than me right now, because he's the one working on them. Um, but yeah, I will wrap up this episode here now, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series so far, drop some comments down below. If you've got any ideas for how to build storage tracks like this, then please do let me know. Uh, it's something that not many people are doing. So I know it's, it's not exactly, you know, it's not like everyone's doing it and I'm the one who can't work it out or anything. But if you've got any ideas, any thoughts, please do let me know down below. It's always appreciated. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It really does help me out. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. And until next time, I will see you soon.